Hello and welcome to this free webinar brought to you by Skill Builders. A little bit more about Skill Builders very shortly. The topic of this webinar is the new ZFS features in Oracle Solaris 11. Oracle Solaris 11 is a new release of the operating system uh, that has been around for many years, uh, formerly developed by Sun Microsystems. There are many changes to Solaris 11 and many new features compared to Solaris 10. In fact, there's so many that there's a, a full five-day upgrade course known as Transition to Solaris 11 that's available, including from Skill Builders, at considerably less cost than other well-known suppliers. This webinar will look at just a few new but uh, very important changes to the ZFS file system and very shortly I'll go through the topic list with you okay. and this will give you a little bit of a taste of what to expect should you come on the five-day transition course. Uh, one significant change in Solaris 11 which many administrators will be pleased to hear is because of the way the system is packaged and because of the way it is upgraded it means there are no more patches Solaris 11 uses a repository package mechanism very similar to those of you experienced with uh, Linux distributions such as Red Hat. The new features we'll look at today, uh, first of all we're going to look at the uh, ZFS file system in relation to sharing resources on the network, in particular the network file system mechanism, which has changed a little bit. Okay. Then in a separate presentation, which you can uh, look at following on from this, we're going to look at additional ZFS features such as splitting a pool, a Z pool. So for example, you could um, take a disk away from your mirrored root pool and actually mount it separately, import it as a separately functioning pool, which could be quite handy in a number of different circumstances. We'll then look at shadow migration the ability to take a remote file system or say a UFS local file system and migrate it to a new ZFS data set and be using that data set live as soon as the migration starts with the migration going on in the background. And then lastly a new facility in Solaris 11 uh, ZFS known as data deduplication which assists in cutting down on the amount of space consumed by your data and again a very important uh, facility and very easy in fact to implement. Uh, we will assume that uh, the people who will be interested in this webinar will be those who already have a little bit of Solaris administration background and the webinar has been pitched at that level. It may also help if you had previous ZFS experience although that is not particularly important. Uh, ZFS is appearing in other systems for example it, it forms the uh, key facility within Oracle's latest 7,000 series storage appliances. Now, skill builders uh, can provide extensive support with Solaris, uh, Solaris 10 and 11, and also with the provision of uh, Oracle servers such as the latest T series, T4s, and, or and skill builders has extensive experience with Oracle in all sorts of areas, uh, consultancy, education, uh, development and also stabilization projects for example and of course uh, you can get in contact with skill, skill builders with the number that's shown there on the slide and alternatively uh, you can access the skill builders website at www.skillbuilders.com so should you wish to know anything further, please don't hesitate to get in touch with Skill Builders. Uh, perhaps you might even consider finding out more about the full Transition to Solaris 11 course and uh, making a booking with us. So let's move on and have a look at ZFS uh, in relation to NFS sharing. <coughs> 